So how do Oklahoma schools stack up? Well, better than you may think, thanks in great part to a push to have students start thinking about their future as soon as the eighth grade. Hi, I'm Ricky Bobby. Thanks for joining us here on Career Day. In the midst of all the fun of being on TV, something serious is going on with these eighth grade students. Join us as we take a virtual look at how this program prepares students for the careers of tomorrow. Each year, CareerTech sponsors career fairs around the state, an opportunity for eighth graders to be exposed to career choices they may never have thought of. Career counselor, Judy Sindelar. You have to start thinking about it earlier and earlier now because basically there are many, many courses they have to take in high school in order to be prepared for those courses in college or at, at a tech center where they have to have a background for either math or science, and so they have to start earlier. Looking at all this technology, Secretary Garrett, it impresses me how much our classrooms have changed. We're very excited about this change, I can tell you, and of course... Sandy Garrett is superintendent of public instruction for the state of Oklahoma. We're in a race, and the whole world is in this race right now as who's going to position themselves as a leader of this century, the 21st century. And it's going to be a world where technology is at the centerpiece. And uh, certainly that means that we're still going to have reading, writing, and arithmetic, but it is the, the students that have those foundational skills and are able to use technology for jobs that we don't even know about today. They will be ahead of the pack. And this race is very competitive, and obviously it's global. And China and India are big players in this. So we're focusing on uh, building the skills uh, with all of our adults and our students uh, in secondary education so that they'll be ready for this future. Could it be that many of the things that we have traditionally done here in Oklahoma, maybe we need to rethink as we enter this new century and if we're going to be competitive? We haven't changed that much as far as our calendar and our time spent and so forth, and we've got to rethink that. This legislative session, Garrett did propose to lengthen Oklahoma's school year, but budget constraints kept it from happening.